Want to speak real Chinese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at ChineseClass101.com. Hi! Hello, welcome everyone. I'm Yu Ting. Today I'm going to tell you 10 ways to remember words. Maybe you can find a really efficient and useful way in this lesson. So let's begin. 我一遍又一遍重复练习阅读、写作和口语 I use repetition, reading, writing, and speaking words over and over again. And I think the key of learning a new language is a repetition. I write the Chinese character over and over again. 我听歌并记歌词 I listen to sounds and memorize the lyrics. Actually, this way is so useful. And I highly recommended a uh, sounds that name is the mood represent my heart. 把文字和图片联系起来 Associate the Chinese word with the picture. Yeah, that's a really efficient way. Let me show you an example. This is a picture of mountain, and this is a Chinese character. You see this? Actually, the Chinese character is original from the picture. So it's very easy and vivid to learn new words. 我把新学的词和其他学过的相关词语联系在一起. I categorize the new words with other related words that I already know. For example, today your new words is 热水. Uh, it's, it's not 热水. 热水 means hot water. You can associate 热水, hot water, with cold water, bottle of water. So blah, blah, blah. So you can know lots of words about water. So your words will multiply. 我把新学的词和故事、游戏或电影联系在一起。I associate new words with stories, games, or movies. Yeah, it's really a good way to remember new words. Because in Chinese character, each character has like uh, one story. So if you know story, you can totally learn the words. It's very efficient way and very interesting. 尽量多阅读,尤其是多读报纸,这样有利于我记单词。Reading as much as possible, especially in newspaper, helps me to remember new words. Generally speaking, if you want to read the Chinese book or newspaper, you just need 3,000 Chinese characters. Actually, it's not so hard. If I just know 3,000 English words, I can do nothing. 我尽量在日常生活中使用中文。I try to use Chinese as much as possible in my daily life. Yeah, I think this way is the best way to learn Chinese. Use it as much as possible in your daily life. For example, uh, you can look in the dictionary how to order uh, food in the restaurant. You just uh, use it. 我试着将所学到的新词用在句子里,这样我学会的是完整的表达,而不是一个个单独的词语。I try to use the new word in a simple sentence, so I learn whole phrases, not just individual words. Yeah, that's right. If you just uh, remember uh, only individual words, and you don't know how to these words performance in the whole sentence is useless. So it's better you also remember some sentence. 我尽可能跟母语者说话。I speak as often as possible with the native speaker. Yeah, it's a good way. You can listen the pronunciation from the native speaker, and also the native speaker can correct your pronunciation. 看 ChineseClass101.com 上面的视频 Watch videos of ChineseClass101.com Yeah, that's a good way because we have lots of videos and uh, audios you can repeat and repeat again Hi! Welcome to Introduction to Chinese My name is Alicia and I'm joined by 
Hi, everyone. I'm Rui. In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of Chinese writing. Unlike English, which is an alphabetic language, Chinese is written with characters. These represent both sound and meaning. Each hanzi has one syllable. One or more syllables make up a word. So in Chinese, a word can be made up of one or more hanzi. For example, the word hanzi is made of two syllables. The first one, Han, means Chinese. All the Han people, which is a majority ethnic group in China. The second syllable, Zi, means word. So Han and Zi together means Chinese characters. Although there are more than 50,000 characters in Chinese, you only need to know two to 3,000 to be considered literate. Still, memorizing 3,000 Chinese characters sounds like a huge challenge, but it's actually easier than you may think. All Chinese characters are made up of smaller components that are used over and over again in other characters. This means that by learning just one component, you can effectively learn multiple characters at the same time. Let's look at this aspect in more detail. Most Chinese characters are pictophonetic. They consist of a radical and a phonetic element. These are the technical terms for the components we just talked about. The radical often suggests the meaning of a character. The phonetic part indicates the original pronunciation, which may or may not be the modern pronunciation. For example, let's look at the character fan, rice or meal. Its radical is, which indicates that this word is related to food or eating. The second part, fan, is a phonetic element. It suggests that its pronunciation is close to the pronunciation of the character fan, meaning opposite. To be able to recognize and write Chinese characters, you should know the basic radicals. Now we'll give you a few of the most commonly used radicals. Ren or its variation means man or person. It's present in words like ni, you, ta, he, zhong, the masses. Nu, meaning woman, is in words like ma, mom, jie, older sister, gu niang, girl. Xin, or its variation, means heart, xiang, to think. Yi to recall. Shou or its variation means hand. It usually appears when the word describes an action using hands, such as da to hit, la to pull, tui to push, na to grab. Ko means mouth. Characters with this radical often involve using your mouth such as chi to eat, chang to sing, tun to swallow. Mu means eye, can to look or see, shui to sleep. Yan or its variation means speech, shuo to speak or say, qing please or to invite, xie to thank. Shui or its variation means water, hai, ocean, he, river, xi, to wash. Huo, or its variation, means fire. For example, shao, to burn, deng, light, re, hot. Yi, or its variation, means clothing, chen shan, shirt, dai zi, bag. Most radicals are at the left or bottom of a character. By identifying radicals, it should be much easier to decode the meaning of new characters. For the phonetic elements, it takes time and effort to memorize their pronunciations. The more you study them, the easier it will be. When writing in Chinese, it's important to know the order of strokes. Knowing the number of strokes is also important when you look up a word in a radical-based dictionary. Some characters can have many strokes, and they can get very complex. If they're not written in the correct order, some characters may even be unreadable. So learning the proper stroke order is quite important. Remember, write from left to right. Chuan, river. 
人 person. From top to bottom, 三 three. Horizontal then vertical, 十 ten. Two soil. Outside then inside, 月 moon. Yong to use. Inside then close. Hui to return. Tian farmland. The middle then the sides. Xiao small. 水 water. Okay, let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. In this lesson, we introduced you to the basics of Chinese characters. You also learned that Chinese characters are comprised of radicals. Finally, you learned some of the most common stroke patterns when writing Hanzi. Hi, everybody. I'm Rui from ChineseClass11.com. Do you know what monsters Chinese people are scared of? In this lesson, you will learn about three scary monsters in China. Let's start with the most popular monster, Jiang Shi. Jiang Shi. A Jiang Shi is a reanimated corpse or a Chinese zombie. This type of zombie can only move by hopping. As the corpse is suffering from rigor mortis, the monsters have greenish white skin and kills living creatures for their life force. You might have heard about the next monster. The next one is Tao Tie. Tao Tie. It means Gluttonous ogre. The Tao Tie is a gluttonous ogre who eats precious items. A Tao Tie attacks lonely travelers and kills them for their precious items. The Chinese consider this demonic ogre to be one of the four evil creatures of the world. That sounds pretty scary, right? Okay. Here is the last monster, 女鬼。女鬼。Have you heard of this one? It literally means female ghost. This is a restless female ghost who committed suicide in a red dress because of injustice committed against her. She returns as a ghost to take revenge. Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. Listen to the names of each monster and repeat after me: Chinese zombie, Jiang Shi, Jiang Shi, Gluttonous Ogre, Tao Tie. Tao Tie, female ghost, 女鬼 ，女鬼 ，Well done. Did you know that there are several Chinese festivals similar to Halloween? These are the Hungry Ghost Festival. The Qingming Festival, the Double Nine Festival, and the Chinese Spring Festival. The Ghost Month, which is the seventh month on the Chinese lunar calendar, and the fifteenth day of the Ghost Month, are also occasions for honoring the souls of the departed with rituals and gifts. And that's it. You just learned about three of the scariest monsters in China, and several Chinese festivals similar to Halloween. Now. 
Learn Chinese twice as fast by downloading all your PDF cheat sheets, including survival phrases, pickup lines, business etiquette, and more. Check out the description below and go to ChineseClass11.com now. I'll see you next time. 再见。Okay. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay. 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 Similar to Halloween. Okay. This is the same sentence. Yeah. The one sentence. Okay. Okay. Oh. Ah. Ah. Okay. Okay. And that's it. Hi, it's Ray. Welcome to Chinese Top Words. Today we are going to talk about top ten compliments you always want to hear. Let's begin. 你很帅 You are so handsome. Okay, the first phrase is 你很帅 In English, it means you are so handsome. Usually, we say it to guys, to male. 你很帅很 means very. 你 means you. 帅 means handsome. Um, if you want to compliment your boyfriend or you want to flirt with one guy, you can say 你很帅 You have to say it with emotion. 你很帅 If you're a guy and nobody say it to you, it's okay. You can say it to yourself. 我很帅我很帅 Wo means I. You got it. 你真漂亮 You're so beautiful. So 你真漂亮 means you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. 你真漂亮你真漂亮漂亮 means beautiful means pretty. Usually we say it to girls, and、uh, it can be girl to girl or boy to girl or, or you can say it to yourself. Um, 我真漂亮 Um, we don't usually say that. <laughs> 你很聪明 You're so smart. 你很聪明 In English, it's you are so smart. Um,、mm, sometimes it can be ironic. I say like if you um cheat, um、mm, in the exam, you can say um、mm, 你很聪明 So it's actually means yeah you're very um good at tricking. So what? So be careful the tone when you say that. 你很聪明 Hmm, you're very smart. You're very smart. You're great. So the next one is great, 厉害 You're very smart means you are great. So it's very common. You can use it every day to every to different people. You can say it to your kid, to your brother, to your sister, to your friend. So for example, your friend passed the exam. Your friend got a new girlfriend.、Um, your friend is on TV. <laughs> you can say 你很厉害 or you can just simply say 嗯厉害 with this in China it means 厉害真棒 awesome. So next one is 真棒 awesome 真棒 yeah like this is so delicious 真棒 this restaurant 真棒 and um um ah.、Uh, We're going. We're going to Hawaii tomorrow. Ah, 真棒 So you can use it、um, not only for people but also for situation. It's very useful. Remember it. 真棒干得漂亮 Beautiful job. 干得漂亮 Beautiful job. So your team got the first place in the competition. 干得漂亮 Your team player. Hmm. Did a very good presentation. 干得漂亮 Beautiful job. 你的性格我很喜欢 I like your personality. 你的性格我很喜欢 I like your personality. 你的性格 your personality 我很喜欢 I like it. Or in Chinese, you can converse the order. 我很喜欢你的性格 Um. Usually, we don't say it to our boss or to our teacher to our professor. Or to our family members, you always say it to the people we like or the people you want to flirt with. Your taste is very good. You have good taste. Your taste is very good. You have good taste. Or you could just say your sense is very good. I like your sense. You visit your friend's home and you like the design. You can say, "Oh, your taste is very good. You have good taste in choosing the right furniture and."、Uh, A、uh, very good design. This shirt looks great on you. 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 This
you can play it, play with this sentence. You can say, "Oh, this、um, hat looks good on you." 这个帽子你戴起来很好看。Or you can say, "This sunglass looks great on you." 这个太阳眼镜你戴起来很好看。So, 很好看 is very useful part. Or you, if you don't remember, you don't know the Chinese word before the sentence. You don't know what the Chinese word for the shirt, for the sunglass. You can just say, 嗯，很好看。Remember that, 很好看。跟你在一起，我总是很开心。I'm always happy when I'm with you. Okay, the next one is 跟你在一起，我总是很开心。I'm always happy when I'm with you. So, 跟你在一起 means I'm with you. 总是很开心 means I'm always happy. Or you can reverse the order. Um, 我总是很开心跟你在一起 So you can uh use it not only while you're dating somebody or with your friend or even business situation. It's like I'm always happy when I'm working with you. So, 跟你在一起工作，我很开心。跟你在一起吃饭，我 having dinner with you. So you can use it not only in business situation or in casual occasion. 跟你在一起，我总是很开心。Hi, everybody. Inru here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer most of your common Chinese questions. The question for this lesson is. What is the difference between Mandarin and Chinese? Sometimes people say they speak Chinese, and sometimes they use the word Mandarin. The two words seem almost interchangeable. Mandarin, also known as Standard Chinese (普通话), is the official language of mainland China and Taiwan. It's also one of the four official languages of Singapore. It's the national language that's taught in schools. And it's based on the standard dialect spoken in Beijing, the capital city of China. While Chinese is a more general term, it refers to a group of languages spoken by the Han people, an ethnic group of East Asia. Chinese language includes a variety of regional dialects, such as Mandarin, Cantonese, Shanghainese, etc. As a matter of fact, each town has its own dialect. When people from different areas talk to each other in their own dialect, chances are they won't be able to understand each other. For example, in Shanghainese, people greet each other by saying "no ho," whereas in Cantonese, people say "ne ho." That is why a common dialect is needed for more effective communication throughout the whole country. With a standard dialect, we can all greet each other by saying "ni hao," and nobody gets confused. Since most Chinese people speak Mandarin, when people refer to the Chinese language, they often mean Mandarin. How was it? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them. See you in the next episode. 我们下期再见吧 Bye. Twenty travel phrases you should know. Let's get started. 我可以要一张地图吗 Could I get a map? 我可以要一张地图吗 Could I get a map? Map, map. If you use your hand gesture enough, I think Chinese will know what you want. Yeah. 你会讲英语吗 Do you speak English? 你会讲英语吗 Do you speak English? So when you see m at the end of a sentence, Chinese sentence, you will know this is a sentence for asking a question. 什么什么 m? What what m? 有没有从机场进入市区的巴士 ？Is there a bus from the airport to the city? 有没有从机场进入市区的巴士 ？Is there a bus from the airport to the city? So in China, since we have a, a big population, especially in the airport or in a train station, sometimes we need to line up for the taxi. So it may be a very useful sentence when you get to the China for the first time. Wi-Fi 是免费的吗 ？Is Wi-Fi free? Wi-Fi 是免费的吗 ？Is Wi-Fi free? Another common question is, what is the Wi-Fi password? Wi-Fi 的密码是什么？今晚有房间吗 ？Do you have any vacancies tonight? 今晚有房间吗 ？Do you have any vacancies tonight? So different from English, we put the 
time in front of a sentence instead of at the end of the sentence. So, 今晚 means tonight. 我可以换一个其他的房间吗 ？Could I move to a different room? 我可以换一个其他的房间吗 ？Could I move to a different room? So when you are not satisfied with the room, maybe it's filled with smoke smell, you can use this sentence. 我可以换一个其他的房间吗？无烟房，无烟房 means non-smoking room. 我有预定 ，I have a reservation. 我有预定 ，I have a reservation. You can use it in a restaurant or in a hotel. 可以给我们看一下菜单吗 ？Could we have the menu, please? 可以给我们看一下菜单吗 ？Could we have the menu, please? 菜 means dishes, 单 means list. So a list of dishes it means menu in English. 你有什么推荐吗 ？Do you have any recommendations? 你有什么推荐吗 ？Do you have any recommendations? So speaking of Chinese. Dishes. My favorite one is tomato fried eggs. 西红柿炒鸡蛋 I strongly recommend it. Please try it. 可以给我结账吗 Could I have the check? 可以给我结账吗 Could I have the check? So in China, when you go to a restaurant, go having dinner with your, especially your close friends or your family, um, one special, one Chinese specific situation might happen. Like everybody will fight for check. Could I have the check? 我可以结账吗 It's not so often heard, but instead it's like, I want the check. 我要结账 Yeah. In China, people like paying for their close friends and family. 我对花生过敏 I'm allergic to peanuts. 我对花生过敏 I'm allergic to peanuts. Among my friends and my family. I've never heard anybody is allergic to anything.、Mm, I guess we were born strong. 请给我一杯水 ，water please. 请给我一杯水 ，water please. I would recommend you to say, 请给我一杯冰水 because in China many people like hot water. Me too. I like hot water. So if you do not add 冰冰 means ice. So 冰水 means Ice water. So if you don't add that, you probably get a hot water. This is how much? How much is this? How much is this? So if you go shopping in China, if it's not department store, usually the price is not that much. So if you go shopping in China, if it's not department store, usually the price is not written on the product. So the merchant may offer different prices depending on the people. You have to always ask and always negotiate. Otherwise, you will get overcharged. But also enjoy the fun of negotiating the price. 我要十个这个 I'd like ten of these. 我要十个这个 I'd like ten of these. If you feel this sentence too long for you, you can say 这个我要十个 or you can say 十个 This is Chinese way of showing ten. 你能给我打个折吗 Could you give me a discount? 你能给我打个折吗 Could you give me a discount? So, like what I have said before, in China, negotiating price is very common, except the department store. So this could be very useful. 能刷信用卡吗 Do you take credit card? 能刷信用卡吗 Do you take credit card? In China, personally, I don't use credit card so often. I usually use my cash or Like an account in my phone, so I just show my phone. It's like Apple Pay. It's very easy and convenient. 火车站在哪里 Where is the train station? 火车站在哪里 Where is the train station? So we put where at the end of the sentence in Chinese. So be careful. Reverse the order. 请问车费是多少 Excuse me. What's the fare? 请问车费是多少 ？Excuse me, what's the fare? Usually, you use this sentence when you take a taxi. So when you get to the destination, you can ask the taxi driver. 请问车费是多少？能不能帮我拍张照 ？Could you take a picture of me, please? 能不能帮我拍张照 
Could you take a picture of me, please? Instead of asking this favor in a question, you can also say, 请帮我拍张照 Please take a picture for me. 这是去机场的巴士吗 Is this the right bus for the airport? 这是去机场的巴士吗 Is this the right bus for the airport? Hi, everyone. Andrew here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer most of your common Chinese questions. The question for this lesson is: How do I pronounce the pin initials C, Q, X, Z, Z, H? Most pin initials or consonants have very similar pronunciations to their English counterparts, but there are a few sounds that may not sound the way you'd expect. Now let's look at some of the difficult consonants to pronounce in Chinese pinyin. C sounds like t, as in Thai, vegetable or dish, tu, vinegar, and Thai tu, to get something wrong. Z sounds like z, as in Han zi, Chinese characters, er zi, son, zi ji, oneself. Q sounds like qi, but with a flat tongue and a flat mouth. For example, qi, energy, qian, money, qin qi, relatives. Another initial sound that may be different from English or your mother tongue is x. It sounds like xi, but once again, your tongue is flat here. Xi, west, xiao, small, xie xie. Thank you, and 学校 school. Now let's look at the double initial Z H. You may see it in some very common Chinese family names like Zhang, Zhou, Zheng, and in this word, Zhongguo, China. Z H sounds like the first sound in jerky, with the tip of the tongue raised against the hard palate. Try 战争 war, 珍珠 pearl. 这种 this kind. As some of you may be wondering, aren't consonants or pin initials supposed to be quiet without the vibration of vocal cords? Why do Chinese teachers and friends say bo zi de fu ge instead of bo zi de fu ge? Well, it's because when Chinese people learn pin in school, they're taught to pronounce them with a vowel to make the sounds clearer and easier to say. So Chinese may pronounce all the initials as bo, zi, de, fu, ge, he, ji, ke, le, mo, ne, po, qi, ri, si, te, xi, zi, chi, shi, zhi. These words you have already learned? How is this series? Is it interesting? 你喜欢吗 ？Can you pronounce all these words now? How's our series? Is it interesting? Do you like it? How was it? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them. That's all for today. 今天就到这里 I'll see you in the next episode. 我们下期再见 Hi everyone. Do you know how to say "I love you" in Chinese? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say it. Let's start with how to express your feelings to your loved one. 我爱你，我爱你，我爱你。Or if you want to explain those butterflies in your stomach, you can say. 我喜欢你，我喜欢你。我喜欢你。And when you feel that "I love you" is not enough, you can say. 无法用言语来形容我对你的爱。无法用言语来形容我对你的爱。无法用言语来形容我对你的爱。Ten Chinese food, ha ha ha! My favorite topic. Okay, let's begin. Let's see what we have in this lesson. 
，拉面，拉面 ，pork noodles， 拉面 ，pork noodles。它为什么叫拉面？因为它是被拉出来的。Why is called ramen pork noodle? Because the dough was stretched to the thin noodles and、uh, drop the noodles into the water, boil it. So you get your ramen. The most famous ramen in China is Lanzhou Ramen. Lanzhou is a place in the north of China. Chao fan, fried rice. Chao fan, fried rice. Ho、oh, ho! Chinese people really love rice, so they can cook lots of、uh, style of rice. Fried rice is one of them, and the most famous is the、uh, Lanzhou Chao Fan. Lanzhou Chao Fan is made like.、Uh, Of course, rice and uh, uh, green beans, and sometimes with the、uh, corn. Lanzhou Chao Fan is made of rice, corn, and vegetables chopped up. Gula Rou, sweet and sour pork. Gula Rou, sweet and sour pork. The dish of Gula Rou uses the、uh, pineapple, so it tastes、uh, a little bit sweet and sour. 因为咕噜肉里面用了菠萝，所以它吃起来比较甜和酸。叉烧，叉烧 ，Chinese barbecue pork。叉烧，叉烧 ，Chinese barbecue pork。I like this one most because this is a pork ribs。叉酥吃起来又甜又咸。The taste of 叉酥 like。Sweet and、uh, salty. Beijing 烤鸭 baking duck. Beijing 烤鸭 baking duck. Pee pee pee. Beijing 烤鸭应该是中国最出名的菜了 Baking duck may be the most popular dishes for the whole Chinese food. 最出名的烤鸭是全聚德烤鸭 And for the most famous roast duck is the 全聚德 roast ducks. 宫保鸡丁 ，Kung Pao Chicken。宫保鸡丁 ，Kung Pao Chicken。耶！宫保鸡丁尝起来有些甜，又有些酸。宫保 Chicken tastes sweet and a little bit sour。宫保鸡丁是由鸡肉、花生还有黄瓜组成的。宫保 Chicken is made from chicken, of course, and peanut and the cucumber. 小笼包，小笼包 ，soup dumplings。小笼包，小笼包 ，soup dumplings。小笼包好吃是因为皮儿薄，肉大，汁多。The reason for the 小笼包 is so delicious is because the skin is really thin and the meat is abundant and of course it's very juicy. You can drink the soup first. And if you bought a xiaolongbao in Shanghai, there will be a straw in the middle of the xiaolongbao, so you can use the straw to drink the dumpling soup. This is my xiaolongbao, haha! I want to open it. Dangerous because it's so hot, so please careful. Zhou, Kongji, Zhou. 康鸡，我每天早晨的早餐都是粥。I eat the kongji every day for my breakfast. 粥有很多种类 ，kongji have lots of varieties. For example, 嗯，小米粥、绿豆粥、玉米粥 ，and my favorite is 皮蛋瘦肉粥。It's made from 1,000 years egg. 粽子 ，rice dumpling. 粽子 ，rice dumpling. We eat the rice dumpling in the Dragon Boat Festival. 我们在端午节的时候吃粽子。粽子是由碾米制成的。Rice dumpling is made of sticky rice. It can be salty and sweet. The North people like the sweet rice dumpling, and the South people like the、uh, salty rice dumpling. 月饼 moon cake. 月饼 moon cake， 我们在中秋节的时候一边吃月饼一边赏月。We eat the moon cake in the Mid Autumn Festival, and also 
What's the moon? Hi everybody, Inru here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer most real common Chinese questions. The question for this lesson is, does ni hao really mean hi? Ni hao and hi, are these two greetings the same? Actually, they're not. Ni hao in Chinese is a very formal greeting. It's usually used when people meet for the first time. You can use it in self-introductions such as Ni hao, 我叫玛丽. Ni hao, 很高兴认识你. Or you can use Ni hao as a phrase to get a stranger's attention when you need to ask a question or favor. For example, you need to get to some place, so you may stop a passerby by saying Ni hao, 请问一下, 电影院怎么走? Or when you're ordering food in a restaurant, you may say, 你好,我要一份一号套餐. Well, if 你好 is used in formal situations with people you don't really know, how do you greet people you do know? Well, it's definitely not necessary to use 你好 to your best friends when you bump into them on the street. You can simply say hi to them in English or the Chinese version, hi. This is essentially a translation from English. Hi is a very popular greeting among young people, so feel free to use it as you do in English. If you haven't seen your friend for a while, you may say, Hi, Mali, how do you do? Or you can simply say their name and then continue with some small talk. For example, it's meal time, you could say, Mali, chilama. This is a very informal greeting, but so commonly used. After all, eating is a big deal in Chinese culture. What if you're greeting someone you know, but they're your supervisor or your senior? To make it more polite, you can address them by their title, then add a how after the title. Say, you see your teacher, it's considered polite to greet them by saying, Mo Mo Lao Shi Hao. If the teacher's name is Li, you'll say, Li Lao Shi Hao. If you see your manager Li, you can say, Many times when at work, even if the person you're greeting is the same level as you or even at a lower level, it's still common to address them by their surname followed by the title. How was it? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have more questions? Leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Bye-bye. Chinese class 101.